Welcome back everyone. Today's video is gonna be short and to the point because some big juicy tech news dropped today. It's actually some good news and some bad news. I kind of viewed it as a bit of a compliment sandwich. It comes from AMD. The short version right up front is that we again have a confirmed launch month for the 16 core 3950X. The bad news is that that is delayed two months to November 2019 now instead of September 2019. And then the good news again is that we also have a confirmed launch month for Threadripper 3. Excellent. So here's the news over on the AMD Ryzen Twitter. It's all of two sentences and an image that they shared. First, it says, we are focusing on meeting the strong demand for our third generation AMD Ryzen processors in the market and now plan to launch both the AMD Ryzen 3950X and initial members of the third gen AMD Ryzen Threadripper processor family in volume this November. Not when in November, but November. We are confident that when enthusiasts get their hands on the world's first 16 core mainstream desktop processor and our next generation of high-end desktop processors, the wait will be well worth it. Why are they even talking about a wait though? Well, if you followed the news prior to now, you might've seen videos going up months ago back in June that said, hey, the 3950X is available in September. And myself, I've been looking at those dates and there's been a lot of rumors that September 30th was going to be the launch date since that is the last day in September. I was about to email AMD and say, hey guys, uh, am I gonna be getting one of those 3950Xs for testing and review? Hopefully the answer to that is still yes, but it has been pushed back a couple months to November. So I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Confirmed specs for the 3950X so far are that it's gonna have 16 cores and 32 threads, a 3.5 gigahertz base clock and a 4.7 gigahertz boost clock, 72 megs of total cache and a 105 watt TDP. The second part of the news today about Ryzen Threadripper does come with a visual aid in this image that AMD shared uh, with news sources across the land from the creators of AMD Ryzen and AMD Epic, the third generation. Ryzen Threadripper premiering with 24 cores. And that is again, a juicy little tidbit of information because it sounds like when Threadripper launches, Threadripper 3 that is, it will probably have a 24 core initial flagship. Although what we are expecting is that we're gonna have at least a 32 core option since it is based on the same core platform as AMD's Epic ROM processors, which are uh, aimed for the workstation server market. This is the general layout and configuration. This is from Tom's Hardware, by the way, but you can see there's a central IO hub there that's uh, actually based on 12 nanometer. And then around the outside, we have the seven nanometer eight core chiplets. Up to eight of those means that you can have 64 cores and 128 threads on Epic processors. And a lot of people are thinking, well, when Threadripper first gen originally launched, they had 16 cores, but we knew that the Epic platform at the time was capable of 32. So that means it's relatively reasonable to speculate that Threadripper 3, even though it will originally be launching in November with 24 cores, might have a 32 core variant and then potentially even go up to 64 cores because again, it's using the same base sauce that Epic Rome uses. But of course there is still plenty to speculate. So I have a few articles linked in the description from PC World and uh, Tom's Hardware that sort of just go over some some of the additional details about this upcoming launch, what we should be excited about, what we shouldn't be excited about. In particular, I think the binning process for AMD is something that we should keep in mind because when Threadripper originally launched, they said that all of the best Ryzen cores were binned out, separated and used for Threadripper. And that might also lead you to speculate that AMD is taking more time to do additional binning on their chips, hopefully to get better yields of higher quality seven nanometer chiplets in order to put these Threadripper 3 CPUs together with the highest quality silicon that they can muster. Also potentially the same case for the 3950X. If they are looking to hit higher clock speeds with that, then they might need to wait until they have more chips available so that they can actually launch with some amount of availability. And it's also worth considering that the 3900X right now, which is the top end 12 core 24 thread processor on the AM4 platform is still very hard, if not impossible to find at retail at the MSRP of $500. You can find them on eBay, heavily marked up, but according to these articles, it has not been in stock at a reputable retailer since about August 15th, which is well over a month ago. So that, that also might mean that AMD is holding off on making more of the 3900Xs because they're going through this binning process to make sure that the best quality seven nanometer chiplets are going into their highest end processors. 
which again, you could look at both ways. Either that means it sucks that we're having to wait longer, or maybe it means it's better because they're gonna be more CPUs available at launch. Or you could look at it from a negative perspective. Maybe they're having difficulty finding the CPUs that actually meet the requirements to fit into these processors. Therefore, they're having to push the launch back. And even when it does launch, there's still gonna be limited availability. But who really knows for sure? We don't, at least not until November or so, because again, all that was really shared today was a two sentence news brief. And then that picture of third gen Threadripper, uh, which honestly looks just like second gen Threadripper, but it does have glowy text on the logo. So that makes it more impressive. But anyway, guys, we have a couple more months to wait until AMD's new drool worthy high end processors come to market. But hopefully that means November is going to be an exciting time for launches, reviews, and hopefully these CPUs live up to expectations because with just a few hiccups here and there, the third gen Ryzen launch has gone very well. The processors work very well. And especially with uh, some recent updates, they're even hitting the clock speeds that AMD is advertising out of the box. So that's nice. But guys, thank you for watching this short news update video. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more videos like this. If a news story pops up like this and I have the opportunity to give a quick explanation to make it a little bit more clear for you guys, uh, should I continue to do that? Or should I focus on stuff where I'm doing a bunch of testing and, and building stuff with hardware? I'm not sure. I'll find that out soon. Leave me your comments in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next time.